I'm Maria from the UH Hilo Admissions Office. Welcome back to another IG Live Program Spotlight. We're here today with Helen Tian from our College of Business and Economics, or as we like to call it, COBE. We'll have one of our current COBE students and alumni of the program, as well as our business fraternity, join us throughout the live. So be sure to tune in for the entirety of the spotlight. Before I turn it over to them, don't forget to send us your name, your UH ID number, or username, and IG handle to UHHADM at hawaii.edu to be entered into a drawing for UH Hilo swag. Be sure to also put UH Hilo Kobe in the subject line. If you have any questions, comment them in the chat and we'll be sure to answer them as we go. Without further ado, Helen Tien. Aloha everyone, good morning, or actually it's closer to 11. Uh, as, oops, gotta get more in the middle. As Maria said before, uh, my name is Helen Tien. I am both a marketing instructor here at UH Hilo, Kobe College of Business and Econ. Um, I teach great classes such as digital marketing, uh, social media marketing, uh, even things like sales, which is very important. Um, I hope you guys are enrolled for my fall 2020 sales class. Um, and not only do I teach classes, I also do academic and career advising for our College of Business and Econ students. And so with all this happening right now, I'm getting lots of emails about registering for classes, whether classes will be online in the fall, and all these types of things with advising um, is something that I also take care of. Um, and as a lot of our other faculty and admissions members have said before, uh, college isn't just a four-year experience, it's for your lifetime. Uh, so after the advising uh, for academics um, finish, we have career advising. And so not only do we work on academics, we also try and figure out your strengths, um, what you would like to do, especially in business where there's so many different facets that's so important. Uh, what you like to do and really, really get you off to that career um, you want and are looking for. Um, let's see anything else about me. Oh, one more thing, not to toot my own horn, but um, horn, but two years ago I won the uh, Chancellor's Excellence in Teaching Award. And I just want to bring that up because I really believe that College of Business and Econ, we're small, we're personalized, we have great faculty members. Um, so let me introduce some of that to you guys. Uh, so we are also one of two programs um, here in our state that is AACSC accredited. Um, what that means is besides the um, accreditation we have for, uh, for UH Hilo, College of Business and Econ, COBE, um, has an extra layer of accreditation with AACSB. Now, AACSB is something that uh, basically business schools who are willing to do that extra mile to make sure that their students are well prepared, to make sure that their students um, hit a level of standards as well as their business for their business expertise. Um, this is the accreditation we have. And so what that means is um, when you are perhaps hopefully in the future studying abroad. Um, this is this uh, accreditation is going to do really well for your classes being able to transfer. Um, not only that, again, this is just a further dedication to our students and to make sure that um, they have and are ready for uh, their careers. And so after that, we're gonna talk a little bit about the degrees within College of Business. Um, so we have two major, we say degrees, um, one being general business, business administration, and the other being accounting. And so again, if you're really savvy with numbers, if you're very organized and accounting is something you're interested, you can come here and get a BBA in accounting. Now our BBA in general business is a little bit more complicated, but really what it does is it features a few different concentrations that students can um, sign up for. And so these concentrations range everything from economics uh, to finance to healthcare management for all of those, uh, all of our students who are ex interested in exploratory health sciences. Um, we also have marketing, which is something I am a huge part of. We have management, and then we also have something called professional studies. The reason we have professional studies is because we want our students to be extremely well-rounded 
Um, we offer some tourism courses where they can apply to their professional studies and come, without, come out with a BBA. Um, we also have uh, courses from other colleges, whether that's marine science, whether that's, um, whether that's marine science, whether that's ag, um, that you can apply to College of Business and get your BBA in business, business Administration and Professional Studies. Um, and so now with a few, we have lots of opportunities at Kobe, but we do not have enough time to cover it. So I'm gonna go over a couple of the great and important ones. Uh, one of the most important opportunities here at Kobe is internships. We really encourage and want our students to complete an internship um, before they complete their four-year degree. And the reason for that is all the knowledge you're going to get in class, all the knowledge you're going to get uh, from your faculty members, unless it's applied to a business, to real-world solutions, it just doesn't feel as real. And so what we really try to do is offer opportunities for our students to get credit for internships. So from sophomore on to senior year, they can complete multiple internships to receive credit for their degree. Um, some of the really interesting partners we have for internships include Suisan, which you'll hear from later on. Um, we also work with a lot of financial institutions here in the area. So for example, um, if you're interested in working for like a corporate banking partner, uh, Bank of Hawaii offers internships actually in Honolulu every summer. Um, that allows our students to go there, experience everything they have with the corporate world, um, and then perhaps come back with more knowledge and more experience to continue their classes. And again, this, uh, this program normally happens every single summer. And so we're hoping, hopefully, by next summer, um, everything will be good to go. Question. So what is the difference between your business program and the one at UH Manoa or UH West Oahu? Sure. Well, I'll tell you the first thing. Well, I'll tell you one thing that's similar. When I say there are only two colleges in the entire state that have this AACSB accreditation, it's actually us and Scheidler. And so it's actually us and UH Manoa that have the same accreditation, meaning that we are held to that same standard for classes, for our students to achieve different uh, scores and things like that. Um, a major difference, I would say, is one of the things we really pride ourselves on is our small classes. I love being able to look out and see not a sea of students, but 20 students and be able to go, hey, what is your interest? What do you want to do for your to uh, future? Do you want to go into ecotourism? Do you want to go into sustainable business? Is um, marketing, is digital marketing something you really care about? I really get to make those personal connections with my students. And so I would say one major, major difference is the ability to do so. Um, other programs are great. We have a great system. Every college here is awesome and for someone, but if you're really looking for that in-person opportunity, you're really looking to connect with your professors. Um, I've heard some amazing stories of how students were able to do different things that you might not be able to get um, to do at a large school. And so I would say that is a major difference. And besides this semester, uh, we really pride on having in-person connection with our students. And so I am always, my door is always open in my office. I always have, uh, you know, lots of events, workshops and things going on just for a chance for everyone to interact. One more question. So speaking of changes for this semester, uh, what COVID related adjustments are you making to your classes? Oh, where to begin, where to begin? Um, well, I'm sure you guys are all feeling this way of, oh my gosh, when are the updates coming? How will we get to know more? When will we get to know more? Same thing with us, I feel that way too. And so this is for Kobe specifically for College of Business. Um, here are our preparations. You can take any class at Kobe um, entirely online if you are not on island or if you're not comfortable coming into class. 
Um, further preparations upon that, we are doing things like recording our lectures, making sure all of our systems are set to where students really get to get at least a really good online experience. It's never going to be the full in-person, but we want you guys to feel like you know what's going on, you know, you know what your grades are looking like, and you know what assignments are coming up to. Um, and also with things like Zoom, I love Zoom. Recorded lectures are amazing. Even if we're doing them live, um, I can see your answers in the chat boxes. I can hear you guys um, in your comments. And again, I've had some really great live classes. Okay, um, so a few more things. Every spring, we have a all UH Hilo um, career fair. And I'm actually on the board to plan that because I really want to make sure there's lots of um, opportunities for our business majors. And so last spring, we had a career with over 35 employers um, from anything from uh, working for the county and for um, government agencies to working for agri um, agricultural businesses to financial institutions, accounting firms, retail, opportunities, marketing opportunities. Uh, we really try to, every spring, bring all of those things onto campus. Um, and not only that, besides the year, once a year spring workshop, we're always having lots of different workshops here for Kobe. And so even with this craziness, um, we're still having uh, some workshops for this upcoming fall. Uh, they're all going to be virtual and they're going to feature some very exciting panelists. And so, uh, something you're going to get very used to being a Kobe student is emails from me. And so, you're going to be getting lots and lots of correspondence from me about new internship opportunities, uh, new workshops, things like that. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to bring someone on that I think is a really great representation of what Kobe stands for. And not only that, um, he is very involved with an organization here on campus, uh, Delta Sigma Pi. So, I'm going to Head out for a second and bring Aaron back in. Thank you, Helen. Uh, hi, my name is Aaron Risley. I am the president of the Lambda Psi chapter of the Delta Sigma Pi International Fraternity. Uh, I am a senior graduating next spring. I am an accounting major with a concentration in finance. Um, the, one of the things about Delta Sigma Pi, if you're not familiar with, is it is a national recognized fraternity. We have over 250,000 members, over 200 collegiate chapters, 60 alumni chapters. So we're a huge organization. And that being said, employers do know how to, um, or do recognize us. So putting your, um, on your resume that you're part of this fraternity does give you that extra step in that application process. Um, other things that we offer for Delta Sigma Pi is leadership, um, development, a lot of professional events. Uh, we like to really take what you're learning in class and then applying it to the real world and seeing how it works. Uh, a couple examples is we like to do a lot of business tours. So last uh, semester, uh, or in last fall semester, excuse me, uh, we actually did a nice tour through Target downtown Hilo. We were able to go back through their HR room, back in their storage room, talk to everybody that was working that day, ask them, you know, important questions that pop up in class. How do you manage this? What's, you know, your selling point, breaking point? Um, do you see an influx in certain days? Uh, and so it's really good for, you know, as a business student to take all of that um, from the classroom perspective and then from real life um, perspective as well and then be able to grow. Uh, we do have a question. So speaking of that kind of, what kind of career preparation support does the club provide? Uh, the career preparations, um, leadership, so we really encourage everybody to take an active role in our fraternity. Um, we want you to take a leadership position role. Uh, we develop that aspect. Um, and then professional-wise, uh, we try to get you connected with a lot of different people. And being in a large organization, we have a lot of networking opportunities that is available for you. Uh, for example, every year spring, we have a three-day, three to four-day, um, I guess, national event that we all attend to. It's called the uh, Spring Lead. And for
from there, we have a bunch of different business panelists come in, talk to you about you know what's going on in business, develop um, your uh, career, I guess, advice um, as you develop yourself throughout. Um, and then just the networking opportunities. So while I was there, I was able to connect with a really um, prestigious figure in the accounting field who gave me his business card who I may be able to connect later on to possibly find a uh, job outside of you know Hawaii, Hilo, or even just a job in general if I needed one. Uh, so that is very nice as well. Uh, the other things that we uh, love to do is just you know the brotherhood. So as you can see, everything's moving online. So because we're a business professional fraternity, all of our members are business students. So that means that your brothers, your you know the people part of this fraternity, they have taken those classes before. So we set up you know days set aside for ourselves to all kind of congregate and help each other out on certain problems, whether it be finance, whether it be counting and whether it be, you know, econ or tourism. Uh, question. What has been your most favorite business class so far? Ooh, you know, they're all really good because our professors here are very, um, they connect well with the students. They deliver that material very well. I think one of my favorite ones was this past spring, and that was um, with um, Dr. Jalbert and it was Finance 322. So this one was Stocks Markets, um, the class that was kind of was designed for. And with his class, he actually gets you kind of to play around with the stock market. It's a program called Stock Track. And from there, you know, you get a million dollars in monopoly money to just kind of throw out the stock market and see what happens. Make your positions, pull out positions, do what you want to do. And the one thing that was really interesting in this semester was COVID-19. So we were watching beginning of Feb or January to beginning of February as the market starts to rise, everybody's making really good money, and then the market just flipped. And it was interesting watching your classmates struggle to try to make a profit while everything was falling in and see who comes out from the top. So that was kind of one of my favorite classes. Um, that and then being an uh, accounting student, uh, now a favorite class of mine was probably uh, accounting, um, 351 is I think that it was um, basically cost accounting and so there what it was is we were taking a business activities and then breaking down the costs and assigning them in different ways and just I'm a numbers guy so just watching how the numbers no matter which way you take they all came up to the same numbers and still gave you like kind of the same advice um, that was pretty neat so yeah um, and I guess other things I can go on to the um, fraternity is uh, besides the development of the leadership and you know connections with students and networking outside um, is kind of like the national view. So every semester we do go or try to send at least a couple brothers to go to the mainland to connect with our um, off island chapters. Um, and this one is a great way to kind of be able to connect with, um, uh, kind of be able to connect with other collegiate members in the business field that actually helps um, maybe give you tips and advice of what they see, internship opportunities that they have, um, which is fairly nice. Um, what do you like to do in Hilo? What do I that like to do in Hilo? Well, I'm a very outdoors activity kind of guy. So uh, because the campus is only maybe a couple blocks away from the ocean, uh, there's two things I like to do. The first one is outrigger canoe paddling. This one is what I got into when I first moved to the island. I've been doing it for eight years. Um, so I have my own personal one-man canoe that I just take out and just go paddle and have some fun. Uh, the second thing that I love to do is sailing. Um, and there's an actual sailing club here. Um, I think the price is like $35 a year for um, a UHU student. And what it does is they will teach you the aspects of sailing. So you get on to the sunfish um, sailboats and they teach you, you know, how to rig it, how to sail, how to, you know, tack into the wind. And because we're on the east side, we get a lot of the trade winds. So it's not like you go out on the bay and there's no wind. There's usually more or less some wind. So you're always constantly having fun out in the water. 
Um, the other thing that I like to do is, you know, just snorkeling. There's a couple of good snorkeling spots around here, especially scuba diving if you're into that. Um, and then if you are wanting to get into any of these um, outdoor water sports like scuba diving, UHUO does offer a scuba diving certification um, for less than $300, which is fairly nice. So, uh, question? No, no question. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you have uh, like any social media platforms for students to learn more about? Yeah, so if you'd like to learn more about us, you can visit our um, our fraternity's website, which is uh, dsphilo.com. Um, on there, you can find you know pictures of us doing fun activities, um, you know the business tours. Um, the, now, one that just popped up to my head was the Kona Brewing Company. So we were actually able to tour a brewery down um, downtown Kona, be able to see that. Um, this year it wasn't going to happen. We were trying to do an Ola Brew tour company, which was fairly nice. Um, also on there, you can see um, under the uh, how to apply tab, uh, you'll see um, different flyers and ways to apply. And there is an apply button there that takes you to a form that you just fill out and submit and it will just let us know that you're interested in applying. Um, and then we'll take that under to consideration. Um, and then also our Instagram account, which is DSP Hilo, uh, or at DSP Hilo. Um, and there you'll see us doing a lot of different activities, posting in real time. Um, and we will also be posting our recruitment flyer events and other information there as well. All right, and I think I will turn it back over to Helen. Uh, thank you guys so much and good luck in your career. Hey everyone, it's me again. All right. Feel free to drop in your questions or anything like that. Um, feel free to ask us anything from Kobe stuff to you know things about the island, anything like that. Um, we are waiting for our next guest, but before then, I wanted to uh, talk about a couple of more things with UH Hilo and with Kobe. Um, some students had the question of what was campus life, what is campus life, I said what was, what is campus life like? And I will say this is one of the most beautiful uh, campuses I've ever been to. Amazing, I hope all of you guys get to enjoy uh, that. Now we have uh, Tyrone joining us from Sea of Hawaii. Hi, can you guys hear us okay? I'm okay. waiting for it to um, Is the... Hi, how are you doing? Me? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm doing fine. This is Cheryl with Sea Hawaii. I know Tyrone is supposed to be coming on to talk about his experiences. Um, yes, he is at another branch. He will be joined by Instagram. person can go on live at once. So I think. Okay. Let me jump off so he can jump on, and then I'll come on when I need to in a few minutes. Thank you. Sorry, we're having a few little technical difficulties. But as we know, uh, corporate corporations often have various locations um, with their businesses. Um, okay, so I just wanted to talk a little bit more um, about campus life and, you know, what it's like here. Um, and I would just say uh, for campus life, you know, this is the reason why I wanted to bring um, students onto our lives. Uh, we really feel like, you know, it's not enough for me to just talk about campus life, but having our students come on. Um, you really get to hear multiple perspectives. Um, so as Aaron was saying, you know, going to do things like paddling in Hilo Bay, I mean, that's something that um, if you are someone who's really interested in, you know, going in the ocean, it's so easy to do. Um, it's 15 minutes away from campus. And so once quarantine and all that is over, um, we'll be able to do that. Okay, now joining us. Woo! That's fun. Yeah. 
Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, so uh, this is Tyrone here. I'm in CU Hawaii. I'm here with my uh, branch manager, Alan Shiraishi. Alan, you want to say hi? Aloha. Good morning. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So uh, CU Hawaii is a credit union in Hawaii, and we. Um, let's see. Okay. So the I don't know. Any questions for me, Alan? Let's just. First thing we need to do is talk more about you. So give us the whole spiel. Where are you from? What major are you? Um, how did you come to our campus? All that good stuff. Oh, okay. So um, I'm actually entering my last year at UH Hilo. I'm a finance. I'm a management major with a concentration in finance, and um, I I really like anything related to finance. Interest rates drive me crazy, and you know. Uh, that's my own particular thing that I like here. <laughs> and uh, the th cool thing about college is there's like so many diverse majors you can choose from and uh, find, you know, what you like and what works for you. So where do you call and, home, uh, yeah. Tyrone? Where do you call home? Where are you from? What is that? Uh, you know, I'm from uh, California. I was born there, but I grew up here on the Big Island of Hawaii. I went to Cal High School. Oh, awesome. Um, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. So let's just start with how did you get your internship? Or, you know, now I know it's, it's the position has switched a little bit. But how did you get started at CU? Yeah, so actually I was working at, in a, uh, as a sushi sushi cook before I got this job, right? And I was a finance major, so I wanted something more applicable to my major, something where I could, you know, apply the things that I'm learning in school, hands-on. So I went to the UH Hilo Internship Database, which is a fantastic research resource for anybody looking for internships or anything more related to what they're doing in their major. There's, there's internships for a wide array of things from business, marketing, finance, uh, to anything like marine science, if you're into that. And uh, yeah, so I was really interested when I saw the CU Hawaii one as a finance major, obviously. So I let um, my advisor, Helen, know that I would very much like to apply for that. I applied for it, got the interview, um, and um, here I am today. Yeah. Our viewers would like to know, Tarot, why did you choose UH Hilo? Uh, I chose UH Hilo because it's close to home. It um, uh, It's uh, comfortable and it's uh, cheaper to go to school, you know, in uh, at UH Hilo than it would be to, you know, fly across to the mainland. And still, um, I feel like there still isn't a compromise on education because we still have these small classes where professors are really connected to you. You can, you know, have really good back and forth with them. And I've learned, and I do not regret the decision whatsoever because I have learned so much from, you know, the small, close connection we have with our professors. Okay. Now, Let's see, how has, oh, this is a tough one on the spot. How has what you learned um, in your business class helped you in your current position? Yeah, so I think um, what I've learned in my business classes has really helped me see the bigger picture of things. Because here, you know, when you get like an entry level job when you're first starting, you see the finer details and go through that. But your, the classes you learn in college will help show you the bigger picture of what's really going on. And that'll help you doing any smaller thing you're doing here. But I think the biggest way that my classes helped me was being a good student translates really directly to doing well in work. You know, being on time for your classes, turning your assignments, knowing expectations, meeting those expectations, and communicating with your professor. Our habits that if you bring to the workplace will really, really help you out. Um, as far as my other classes, my management classes have been a great help. Management uh, is all about interpersonal connections and how you deal with people above you, below you, wherever else in the organization. So you can communicate well and have a uh, good um, and have good relationships with who you work with so you can be productive and happy in work. My finance classes have showed me, because here at CU Hawaii, I kind of do um, all the operational stuff here, like no different than what a basic teller would do right now. But my finance classes have really helped me to see uh, what these small things I'm doing relate to the bigger picture, have me a better grasp of what I'm doing. Uh, marketing classes, 
it's all marketing is all about how you can uh, provide what the the market wants, what the customers want, and that is all about how um, customer service functions. So as far as customer service, what I've learned in marketing has been really eye opening, and I would say that there has been a really strong crossover from what I've learned to college to what I'm doing here at work, which awesome. is just okay. continuing my learning. We have. Um, what was your favorite core class from you from Kobe? And that's kind of a confusing question. Core class is um, the classes that every single business major has to take. And so that's like your management 300, finance 320, marketing 310. You know, those like uh, fundamental classes. You know, that, that is a very tough question. Um, th there has been lots of really good, great classes. We have plenty of great uh, professors in Kobe, such as Professor Jalber to pr Professor you yourself. But I would say the class um, Management 300 that we took over the summer was probably my favorite class so far because that is the most applicable of any of the classes that I've taken so far. It, it just relates to how you deal with people at work, as I said, how um, you manage difficult situations. And it's really open to my, my eyes to a new uh, way of oh. looking at things and doing things. He's just saying, I, he, I, I, paid, I paid him to say that. We're all good on that. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I love teaching that class. And again, the only reason we can teach like Management 300 in that way is because we have small classes. And Tyrone was actually a student I really got to know in class. And I learned that he works at a great sushi restaurant, but he had so many aspirations. He was really interested in the class subject. And for me, as a faculty member, when I see someone like that and I'm able to make the connection, I want to help them. I want to help them get a career and get a good start um, after college. And I'm so happy you have one year left. So close okay finally tell us a little bit more about cu and do you have any financial tips for our incoming students oh absolutely um so i would love to share financial tips the thing about college is you want to you don't want to graduate in a bad situation a lot of students are uh students graduating from public universities are actually graduating almost $30,000 in debt on average. And you do not want to do that. And uh, I'm, I have been lucky enough myself to, um, to graduate in a position where I won't be in a load of debt. And I think there's a lot of easy steps to follow and you could do that too. So I, I think the first thing that students should do is get a part-time job. I think this is really important because it'll limit the amount you need to borrow. I think you should get a part-time job and this will pay for all the non-tuition expenses, right? So you can pay for your uh, travel, food, and books. And it may be difficult. A lot of the main uh, the main thing students will say when you know provided this option is, oh, I want to focus on my studies. But I think getting a part-time job will actually help your studies because you can apply the things you're learning into that job, right? And also, it has been shown in studies that students with a part-time job actually perform better and earn bet higher grades on average than students not working at all. So that is a very important thing to do, both financially and as a student. And uh, second of all, I think college students should live like college students. I've seen a lot of my friends pile up tons and tons of debt because they, they're thinking about the money they're going to make in the future. And you should think about the money you're making right now, which is not a lot. So you should live by your own means, you know, uh, not eat out too much, not not splurge. Just because you can get a lot of money in loans to survive does not mean you should be using them. You want to take out as little bit as you can so that when you graduate, you're not in this mountain of debt because it's not only the debt, the, int the principal and the debt you're going to have to pay is the interest. And interest rates on student loans, let me tell you, are super high. And you do not want to deal with that. Okay. Oh. And then Question number first, three. And then we'll do three. Yes. Uh, what is okay. the most common or common obstacles that students face at UH Hilo? You know, I can't speak for everyone. Um, are you talking about 
this particular college or college in general? In general, um, I, I think the biggest obstacle is um, it's just the adjustment from high school to college because you have a lot more freedom here in college. When I first went from high school to college, it was it was kind of uh, eye opening because you have all this all, all this freedom yet more responsibility. So you really need to lock in more and uh, become a more of a proactive person. And I think become, making that switch is the most difficult part, part in my opinion. Yeah, that is an adjustment. I remember many a 9 a.m. classes that was hard to wake up for. Um, okay, so to your last financial tip for us. Yeah, so I uh, the last financial tip is I think you should start saving now. This might sound counterproductive, but I think it is really important to get into the habit. A lot of people might say that you should just take all your money and repay it on all the, and any money you're saving, pay back the loans you're taking out, you know? But I think it's really important to get in the habit of saving. It might not be the most logical thing to do, but human minds aren't really logical. So you need to get uh, train your mind to get in the habit of putting, you know, 10%, 5% of your paycheck on the side every every so often. And this will add up eventually, and you will be so thankful that you got in this habit because 10% of your paycheck, you know, every two weeks is not a lot right now, but added up over time will be such a significant amount in the future. You will be so, so happy. Um, so if you are going to start saving, I have a recommendation for you. Here at CU Hawaii, we have uh, this revolutionary new um, financial, uh, <laughs> uh, this revolutionary new account. It's called Kasasa Cash and Kasasa Cash Back. So these have very competitive interest rates on depository accounts. You're going to get about a 0.01% interest rate nowadays in most financial institutions. If you open a Kasasa Cash account today, you can earn 1.25% interest, which is 10 times the average. Or a Kasasa Cash Back, which you can get 3% cash back on uh, any of your purchases, which is up there with the most competitive credit cards. And you do not need a high credit score, unlike these credit cards, to get it. Um, anyway, so I'd just like to transition into um, a little bit more information about CU Hawaii with my supervisor, manager, actually, Alan. Hello. Hi, Helen. Yeah, you too. Long time no see. Okay, so Alan, um, did you want to open up for any no, questions at this time? We, we went through some questions, so just do, um, yeah, give us the CU Hawaii. And by the way, guys, CU Hawaii has been a really, uh, whenever we have live orientation fairs, meaning we have booths set up for each of the colleges and students can come around and ask questions, um, CU is always a booth we have there. Uh, last year, they even gave a bicycle away, which was awesome. Um, but they have a lot of really great things for students, and they are a credit union here on the island. And so I'll let Alan talk a little bit more about that, but they're a really, really uh, good credit union. So with CU Hawaii, we're a local member-owned organization, and so we are here to service our members, and if you become a member for us, we have, again, products and services that can suit your personal needs. Uh, for college students especially, we're looking at basically the savings accounts and transaction or checking accounts that come along with a debit card, access to ATMs, online banking, and those type of convenience things for college students. Uh, even if you're coming in from the mainland, you can also transfer over funds over here so it's easier for you to have access to making purchases for your day-to-day -day needs. Uh, local branches we have available here at the UH Hilo, the most convenient closest one is here at the KPA Wainako branch location. We are open six days a week for your convenience, which is Monday through Fridays from 7.30 in the morning until six at night. And then on Saturdays, we're open from eight o'clock till 1.30. So again, we're here to help service your needs as a student uh, member. And again, for that, uh, all it takes is $51 to set up a typical business, uh, sorry, savings account, uh, which is a minimum deposit plus a one-time member so member fee for that. Um, yes, do we have a question? Oh. Yeah. Okay, 
Um, so that was my one minute wrap up um, signal. So if, is there anything else you want to leave with Tyrone? Any final, like, if you're starting at UH Hilo, I wish somebody told me this type of tip. Oh, for sure. So the one thing that I want you to tell you is just to put in that extra effort every opportunity you do, because we live, there's a time, we live in a time where the economy is bad. There's, it may seem like there's not a lot of opportunities, but I promise you, if you put in that effort and show people you care and want to do good, contribute something positively, then people are going to give you too many opportunities and you're not going to know what to do with yourself. I promise you that. So just Make sure you build connections with people, get to know everyone and show them that you are a hard worker and you are willing to put in that extra effort. And I promise you the college right, experience well, will pay off. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you so much. I really thank you. Bye. Say bye, everyone. Now he's off. I'll tell you a little bit more about Tyrone. He is truly an awesome student. Um, he asked questions in class. He let our faculty members know of all his different interests. And these are the things you do when you go to a small university like this. Um, we're always happy to reach out. We're always happy to connect. And so, yeah, so I really wanted to bring students on to show you the experience. Um, and some of the other workshops and things he talked about, um, CU again is a huge um, supporter of our uh, career fairs, so are other banking institutions. Um, and not only that, we have specific workshops. So workshops with anyone from local businesses, such as Aloha Grown. Uh, one of our mem uh, faculty members that I would really like to, I don't give a shout out to, um, Angela Fa'anuno. She is a business owner, um, as well as a tourism faculty member. And so something so special is she actually owns a ulu breadfruit farm and she takes her students on the farm she teaches them all about ecotourism um, her along with her team built an app uh, to show different ecotourism ecotourist uh, locations on the island we really pride ourselves on having faculty members that are connected to the community connected to our students and really give students that opportunity uh, another amazing one is Kelly Moran. Uh, he teaches realty classes, and he's a realtor on Hawaii Island, and so he gives that personal insight of different opportunities and things like that. Okay, um, is Nicole, are you ready? I think we're gonna bring Nicole, our last guest, on now. Um, so, Nicole is our very recent alumni. She just graduated. She's a COVID graduate, right? One day we're going to look back on this and you're going to say, I'm a COVID graduate. Um, and so, uh, can I get a time check? Sorry. Um, 15 total. It was 11. What time is it? 45. Oh, it's 11.45. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, and so, I just really, before, her on. Oh, she's on. <laughs> I'm here. Hi. Hi. Like, oh, I hear my name on live. Hi. <laughs> Are you at Suicide? Yes, I'm in the office. I'm in our okay, HR conference tour. room that we have here. There's a little spin around. You don't have to do. Oh tour. God. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is our little conference room that we have here. Um, I will go outside. This is my desk. Please excuse the mess. This is our little waiting area. And um, that's my boss's Renee. office. You can wait, Renee. <laughs> and that is pretty much it. That's my small little office awesome. that we have here. And so it's just myself and my boss, Renee, here in the office, in our HR office here at Suisan. And yeah, it's okay. actually a pretty busy so, day for us. Tell me, <laughs> sorry, I made you do the little spin, but tell me a little bit about yourself when you graduated from UH Hilo and all that good stuff, where you're from, all that stuff. Okay, so 
Hello, everyone. My name is Nicole. I am a COVID-19 class of 2020 graduate. I graduated from the College of Business and Economics with a degree in uh, business administration with concentrations in management, marketing, and finance. Um, I really took the opportunity to maximize my experience at UH Hilo, and I think we'll get a little bit more into that later. Um, I currently work at Suisan Company Limited. We are a local food distributor. We distribute to, oh my gosh, everywhere across the island, everywhere that has food. Um, we probably distribute okay, there. Where are you from? <laughs> Tell me all about all that stuff. What high school did you Oh, man. So I am a born and raised, born and raised here in Hilo. I went to Waikau High School um, where I graduated in 2017. So it only took me three years to finish my bachelor's degree, uh, which I attribute mostly to the opportunity I was presented with to take early college classes while I was in high school. So I actually completed a total of 10 early college classes while I was still in high school. I think my senior year, I think I only had maybe one or two high school classes and the rest was all college classes. Um, so I graduated high school with 31 college credits already under my belt. So that's why it only took me three that's years. Great. Okay. Um, now let's talk, I have my little Q&A sheet. So tell me about your current job here and just tell me a little bit about um, the process and then what do you really do there? Okay, so I am the human resources assistant here at Suisan. Um, I pretty much support all of the administrative functions that we have here, all of the HR functions. Um, my main focus right now is on recruitment. Uh, we're kind of just jumping back into recruitment after, you know, the COVID-19, you know, pandemic. Um, we're also doing, you know, most, most recently, I will just shed some light on this. I'm actually working on a lot of grant writing. Um, so I'm working on a grant for the USDA. Uh, this is the second grant that I'm doing for Suisan. And oh my goodness, I never knew grant <laughs> writing was so difficult. <laughs> um, but anyway, I also help out with, you know, new hires. I come, I am the person who does the new hire orientations with all of our new employees. I make phone calls, set up interviews, I set up meetings. Um, and we're also working on some cool, I would say projects, myself and my boss, Renee, we're working on different things like our compensation analysis. We're working on revamping our employee handbook. Um, oh gosh, what other things are we doing? I, that's that's kind of like the gist of what's at the top of my head right now. Um, but we're doing some big things. So and how did you I'm start so there? blessed to be a part of it. Well, <laughs> um, a lot of hours in, of course, Helen's office, but um, I was actually working at the UH Hilo office of the registrar, in which I see Chelsea on here. Hi, Chelsea. Um, that was one of the, I would say, that was my work-study job. I worked there, I would say part, so part-time, like 20 hours a week, and I loved it. It was great. Um, but I was definitely looking for something more geared to what my degree was going to be in. So I went ahead and I started to look for internships. And I told Helen multiple times, I said, I'm so happy at my job. You know, like, it's great. But she kept telling me this is not going to last forever. Your work study job is your work study job. And you need to really think about where your future is going after you graduate. So I kind of, you know, wearily filled out the application online and I was like, oh, okay. And I submitted it. I went to the interview process. I went ahead and I got the internship. Um, I did take the internship uh, for credit in which I got three credits as an elective for my degree. And I think I spent about 170 hours here in my internship. After that, I was hired on part-time. It was like a seamless transition. I was hired part-time. Um, Suisan really worked with me while I went to school. They accommodated my schedule really well. And I was actually so blessed. After I graduated from UH in May, they hired me on full-time as a human resources assistant. That's the, that's the great story we want to hear. And yes, again, this was 
I remember Nicole coming into the office, again, just had some idea of what she wanted to do, but just needed more assistance from faculty and from our advisors. And again, this is the UH Halo experience I want you to have. Um, okay, finally, uh, just share a little bit about maybe your uh, maybe your experience at UH Halo, you know, kind of, this is just a wrap up, we really only have five us, but like favorite classes maybe, um, and ooh, tell us about the good poke. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I would have to say my favorite classes were, you know, really all of them. I am a bookworm. I love to study. I love to learn new things. And I really appreciated all of the classes that were offered at UH Shilo. I feel like I got a really well-rounded education there. You know, a lot of my family members and friends asked me, why didn't you go away? You're so you like you can do it why didn't you go and i said well i'm still getting the same quality education here for way cheaper than what i would get at somewhere in the mainland and i felt like it was really important for me to stay close to home um stay with my family and kind of just you know establish myself here and that was what i really wanted to work on um, I would say my ultimate favorite class had to be, of course, our human resources management class in which Helen and my boss, Renee, they co-teached on that class. Um, and that was one of the best experiences I ever had. We actually did a training last week, Renee and I, in which we used some of the concepts from our, from our HR management class in the training for oh. our supervisors. So it was really exciting to see That's that awesome correlation. To hear. Together. Oh, good. We love it when technology applies. I'm so glad to hear you're a proud, uh, proud bookworm. That's really awesome to hear. <laughs> I am as well. Again, coming to college at UH Hilo, we love diversity. We appreciate our students for their vast interests. Uh, again, Nicole is a great, great example of that. When I saw her, I saw that she had this, this interpersonal connection, this, this extra strength, would you say, of being able to connect with others. And by having small classes and by knowing our students, I you know, Nicole, you would be so perfect for HR. You just have the personality for it. You have the organizational skills. Everything just came together. Okay, so then finally, if you went to suicide, which poke flavor would you get? Oh my gosh. Um, me personally, I would get what is called our mixed plate. Um, what that entails is, so it's a poke, of course. It comes with ahi, salmon, hamachi, um, kind of all of the different fish that we have on hand at the fish market. And they kind of mix it together. They actually put opihi in that as well, uh, which I really enjoy. So that would be my first pick. Um, second pick would be our salmon, I think we have the best salmon uh, of anywhere on the island. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we fly our salmon in fresh from New Zealand. So that, I mean, to me is like the bomb. Um, hmm, other favorites. We also do have some awesome like sides and stuff that you can buy by the pound. We have like lihimoy pineapple and lihimoy mango when it's in season. So, you know, we don't just only have poke. So we have a little bit more than what you can think. So I would say come down, check us out. We're open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, yes. So Jocelyn come check us out. Best poke on the island. Um, always fresh, delicious, and it's right by the bay. So you can see the ships coming in, see the boats coming in, and see them drop fresh fish. Okay, so Nicole, I will talk to you later, but thank you again so much for all of your time. Um, another great example of our awesome students at UH. Bye. Bye, thank okay, you. Okay, so just a few more closing things and I'll bring um, our wonderful Maria back on. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me for this live and for all of your awesome questions. Um, again, my email is pinned um, in the comments, so if you have anything else, uh, if you just want some kind of career advising, need help with your classes, um, just let me know. Okay, so that's all from Kobe.
Murphy from College of Business and Econ. I will talk to you guys very soon. Aloha. Thank you all for joining our IG Live with Kobe. Um, as we mentioned, Helen's email is pinned to the comments. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to her. Um, feel free to reach out to uh, the Delta Sigma Phi, Phi fraternity. Um, and then also don't forget to submit your information for the giveaway for the new HLO swag. Um, we'll be sending out an email with instructions for how to claim the prize once we've selected our winners. And until next time, we'll see you next time.